It's the weekend of the Wisconsin Muskie opener, and that's why I'll be fishing in Iowa. What's going on everybody? My name's Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy, and yes, I will be ditching the Wisconsin opener to shoot over to Iowa and fish with my very good friends, Matt Vavrock, and I believe Ben Stone's gonna shoot down from Minnesota. Just so happened this weekend worked well for all of us to get together. I usually don't do so well on the Wisconsin opener, so we're going to head to Iowa and see what we can't get done there. In this video, we're gonna talk about some of the baits that we were successful with last year and that I plan on throwing again this year. The nice thing about Iowa right now, especially with all the cold weather that we've had, is the lakes are gonna be just a little bit warmer than we are here in Southern Wisconsin, and hopefully, and it's one of the baits that I'll talk about towards the end here, we might get into a little bit of topwater fishing because I know there's a couple lakes over there and if you know who Steve Jonas he is he guides over there he loves throwing walk the dog baits and I've seen it in action that in conditions where I didn't think those muskies would hit a, a walk the dog bait they certainly do so that's certainly going to be on the list let's get going on some of the baits though and we're going to start off with the Lee Lures death pause minnow this if the camera will there we go. This is the five and a half inch version. Now this is the version I had with me last year when I went to Iowa. It had just come out and the water was a little cooler so it seemed like the perfect bait to throw. You can get this bait to pop along and just it's a death pause minnow. It literally stays in one place. It's neutrally buoyant. It works beautiful for that application of trying to get sort of a neutral fish maybe to go after a bait and while we didn't get the fish in the net, we got the fish around the net last year when I was fishing with Matt, and it's kind of fun footage to watch. Um, I'll have to look. It's probably like the 20th through the 24th or something like that. Oh, that'd be perfect. Then right after our little wedding celebration. So oh, right on. <laughs> fish. Okay, I'll bring him up here. Maybe, maybe. Oh man, he's, he's dogging <laughs> hard. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Ryan, I'm so sorry. That's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> he was all over the place. <laughs> well, and those little hooks, they just stick oh, into the, gosh, the net dude. too. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. The death, I like, I didn't even know I had a fish there, dude. I stopped it and I looked down and he was on this thing. Oh, I messed that up so bad. <laughs> Well, let's just get a bigger one. <laughs> uh, I hate muskies. <laughs> Fortunately, that little guy didn't want to cooperate and settle down enough for us to get him in the net, but it was a cool hit on the five inch death paws minnow. There are actually four sizes now. I have three of the four. I'm gonna try to hold them up here for size comparison. There we go. You got the five, six and a half, seven and a half and there's also a 10 inch so i'm positive at some point this weekend while we're fishing in iowa i'm going to have one of these size death paws minnows on and see if we can't get one of those iowa muskies suckered into hitting a death paws minnow the second bait that did well for us last year and i'm sure once again this will get thrown this time again and uh this one's sort of a celebrity you've seen this one on baits or on uh, videos before this is my trusty 8-inch Navin. 
beat to heck. It's probably more wood than it is paint, but I got a really, really nice fish again with Mr. Steve Jonasy. Uh, Matt and I were fishing with him, and right off the bat on the, the trip that we went on, I got a beautiful 42 and a half inch muskie that we'll look at. Yeah, Fish, 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 fish. Oh, man. Did not hook good. Nice one. Nice one. You get him up and I... There we go. Got him. Oh. Yeah, boy. Oh. Dude, way to go. <laughs> That's the one we was looking it for is. the other day. Oh, Dude, real. okay. I'll get this because I've got a little spot I can... I didn't even hear. <laughs> and oh, it beat out almost. Way to go, man. Way to go. Beautiful. There we go. That's not going hey, You know what? I did the same thing with mine. And I put a I little... I hook them. I hook it right there. Oh, dude. Oh. I'm dude, wondering what Ryan. that ring was for. Way to go. That's Stick awesome. That <laughs> That's I awesome. Love it. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Let's see. She is... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Way to go, man. All right. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's right. Steve Jonas, you guys are... That felt great. She beauty. We got to board that. Oh, yeah. That is a tank, guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I didn't... <laughs> we have a fish. This is awesome. And it's a beauty. It's a giant. All right. Girl. I don't think she's gonna be very happy with it. Probably not. Okay. Look at the melon on that one. Alright. Oh look at that fish! <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude. You guys, if you're coming to Iowa, we're 10 minutes in fishing with Steve Jonesy, Steve Jonesy Guide Service. I'll of course have all that stuff in the description below. Let's see what this fish is. <laughs> that is a gorgeous fish. Look at the colors on it. 42 and maybe a touch. You wow. probably squeeze 42 and a quarter out of it. Oh, she Dude, than that. that thing is built. That is built. <laughs> so real. Cool. Steve, nice. if you can get in here, man. Way to go. We'll pull a still Way off this. <laughs> so cool. We're All right. 15 minutes in. Holy cow. I'm going to drop her in back here. She's starting to tense up a little bit. Whoa. Okay. Okay. She's ready to go. She's not happy, but that's our height. We're happy. All right, girl. Nice stick, 42. Beautiful fish. Look at her go. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> see you <laughs> later. See you next time. Go eat some shad. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is, that was so fat. Oh, nice. my God, dude. dude. I tell awesome. you what, you get yeah. we did it. We got one. <laughs> you get one of those. I'm guessing there was some sort of window that happened because right after I, I we let the 42 and a half go, I had another follow. I had a fish hooked up and actually lost it on the eight inch Navin. So this thing is definitely going to get thrown. And I think I might have actually caught a bass on this as well, but I can't remember. This is going to be a go to. Always is, always will be. I don't care if it's a video I'm doing about baits to throw in Canada or Wisconsin or the eight inch Navin's probably always gonna be on that list of top three or top five baits. The last bait I'm excited about using on our trip to Iowa here in the first part of May is top water. Now I alluded to this in the intro, I believe, but uh, yeah, this little Bubba, the chaos tackle, big mama Bubba, any of the walk the dog baits, I know Steve likes to use the Weagle by Suic. That's the one that he likes to use out there. But I think any walk the dog bait that you can get out there this time of year is the water's warming up, the fish are shallow, hopefully post spawn, but we'll see. It's been a really goofy spring, so we'll just have to see what the water temps are doing when we get there. But Steve had a couple fish, and I know Matt had a fish blow up when he was throwing a weagle on the trip I was on. Unfortunately, didn't boat any of the muskies that hit the top water, although Steve did boat a really, really nice wiper. Uh, it was a cool hit and a really fun fight. 
Ooh. You want to get the net, Matt? Oh, it's a wiper. Is it really? It's a huge wiper. Oh my god. I, th you? I thought Whoa. that strike sounded weird. I, I did too. <laughs> what? That's a nice fish though. Whoa. Whoa. I'm going to go around the back side here. Well, Brian, you wanted to see one of these in person. So here you go, man. That's cool. Crazy fighter. Oh my god. I think had that rod doubled over. Well, it just, it wasn't computing in my brain because your <laughs> rod, I mean, that fish was digging you way I harder than a, was a little small musky. Fish. Yeah. I've seen a lot of wipers. That might be the biggest one I've seen in person. This is the big one. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> Look at that fat thing. <laughs> Not too shabby. <laughs> Three species of fish today. <laughs> well, those are the baits that I wanted to talk about that did good for us last year and I'm really planning on throwing this year. Some of the other baits that I'm thinking about taking out there with me are glide baits. Of course, we'll have the round nose and blunt nose Kodiak baits out there. Uh, I'm sure we'll throw some glide baits while we're there. Maybe some bucktails, maybe some single eights. We're, the three baits that I showed you are just going to be part of our arsenal. I wanted to go over them because I really enjoyed using them last year and they were effective for us. But it's one of those things where we're just going to have to go out there and we're going to have three guys in the boat. So everybody put something different on and see if we can get a pattern to these fish and figure out what they're doing. All right, well, I have to still get the boat ready, get all the baits in the boat, pack, all that jazz. I need to get the boat set up so I can hook it on the back of the truck and get driving to Iowa. It's going to be a nice long four-day weekend. Everybody that's fishing the opener that's watching this, um, get back to fishing if you're watching this on the opener because it's this comes out at 8.30 and you should be throwing baits not watching this. But if you are, I really appreciate it. And everyone else that's watching this afterwards, thank you so, so very much for watching the channel and supporting it. I really do appreciate every single one of you and I will see you on the next video.